The sulfonamides were our first modern antimicrobials, and although resistance has emerged, these, along with other folate synthesis inhibitors, remain important tools in our antimicrobial armamentarium. The folate synthesis inhibitors are oldies but goodies. These are compounds that have been around for a really long time, particularly the sulfonamides. Folate synthesis inhibitors act by uh, inhibiting the folate synthesis pathway, so from paraminobenzoic acid or PABA through to tetrahydrofolate. And this can be done by two drugs within this broad family, the sulfonamides and the diaminopyrimidines. These drugs are bacteriostatic, so they don't kill the organisms, but they simply arrest their growth. This is the folate synthesis pathway, and what you can see is that the basic sulfonamide structure is very similar to paraminobenzoic acid. This is the native compound found within the cell. As a consequence of this, dihydropteroate synthetase can inadvertently incorporate the basic sulfa structure into this biosynthetic pathway in place of PABA. When that happens, you get an inactive intermediary and it prevents the pathway from carrying on further. By this mechanism, we think of our sulfonamides as acting through competitive inhibition. We get a competitive exclusion of PABA with high concentrations of sulfonamide. Our diaminopyrimidines, so drugs like trimethoprim, act at a different step of the pathway and in a different manner. They actually directly inhibit dihydrofolate reductase, uh, preventing uh, the pathway from continuing at this stage. Because our diaminopyrimidines and sulfonamides act at two different stages of the same pathway, they're synergistic, so their activity together is more than the sum of their individual activities, and as a result, they're oftentimes formulated together in clinical drug products. Trimethoprim sulfa are really great compounds. They have a fantastic spectrum of activity. They're broad spectrum against many gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. This is also an excellent option to consider in a veterinary context when dealing with methicillin-resistant staphylococci, particularly methicillin-resistant staph pseudintermedius, which can, can certainly be multi-drug resistant and a challenge to treat. Trimethoprim sulfa also has activity against a, a number of uh, parasitic organisms and can be used in treating toxoplasma and protozoal infections. Although the spectrum of activity of our folate synthesis inhibitors is quite broad, there are some notable exceptions. Uh, specifically, Enterococcus as a genus is intrinsically resistant, group A strep, so strep pyogenes, and then Pseudomonas aeruginosa is also intrinsically resistant. I hope this summary of the folate synthesis inhibitors was helpful, and if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below.